So y'all know we're teaching on this year. Anybody know what we're teaching on this year? Training to what? Training to love God back. And so I'm so excited about this year. I'm excited about the, the direction that we are taking in the kingdom of God. I am so grateful and privileged to be granted another opportunity to share the good news of the gospel. A part of my desire personally this year in my training is to be a better one who lifts up the name of Jesus that truly emphasizes and shares the good news of God, the good news of the gospel that directs people attention to him so that people truly have an opportunity to hear from him. I, 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 okay, let me say it a different way. I so much want to be out of the way so God can be glorified and only be in the position to be used in it as an instrument that does exactly what he wants done. Now, that's my personal desire. My personal desire is that you will see God. I, I, you know, and I, that, that, that song, let them see you in me. Man, that's, that's, that's a powerful statement. Because so much of what's in the earth is people want to be seen. And to a degree, I get that to some degree, but, but it's, it's taken over. And, it, and, and I, 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 can I share something with you? I, I do some research and I'm, I'm looking at things and I've been spending some time. And I spent some time looking at people in the secular arena and hearing of the darkness that's prevailed in their lives. And I sat there and I shared with my wife how separate and different the king, two kingdoms are. The kingdom of God versus the kingdom of darkness. And the distinction that I realized through spending time with God after I looked at it, because I can't look at it for a long period of time, but spending time with God, the one distinction that stood out to me amongst all the darkness, because it was just repetition, people being molested, people just doing the darkest things, and, and those things were real. And, and hearing those things, the thing that glared to me between the two kingdoms was in the kingdom of God, things are in the light. In the kingdom of darkness, things are done in secret, in the dark. Because they're shameful, they're, they're sinful, they're dark. But in the kingdom of God, things are done in the light and it brings glory to God. That was the glaring distinction of the the two differences is looking at all of this stuff. And what I'm really realizing uh, as we pick up here where we kind of laugh off the last time we were here is that that's what the Lord is showing us. And, uh, and we're on a series training to love God back. This is not about what time it is, but it does. We do sometimes overlap with what I'm teaching on Tuesday nights on Bible study nights, but but, it, but the glaring thing is, is how the kingdom of darkness operates versus the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. So we, we laugh off in Matthew chapter 24. And I believe we laugh off at verse 6. I know we, we mentioned for many, verse 5, for many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. But in Matthew 24, verse 6, let's read. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not what? So you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. How many can turn on their television almost on any news station and hear about a war somewhere in this global world? How many can do that? Amen. So the Bible, see, this, remember we said this when we first got started? The word of God is infallible. It doesn't contradict itself. It's infallible. It makes no mistakes. So for people to say, well, I don't believe the word. I don't, well, you believe other things that, that do not demonstrate as much clarity, as much accuracy as the Bible. But yet you still have a problem believing the word, even though it's completely accurate. That's a problem. People have a problem. We, we, right here, we can look at Matthew 24 and 6, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, but God instructs us 
See that ye be not what? So you see how in this hour right now we're in, uh, and see, we're training to love God back. But see, one of the things that I heard, uh, I heard this in my heart this morning. I think I heard it because I heard a preacher mention this. But it, it bears repeating. In this hour, I believe people are going to really want to see what it means to love God and what it really means to be a Christian. I, I, I believe that. And I, and I don't even think, and, and just hearing that and thinking, this year we're training to love God back in a time where there's wars and rumors of wars. Where the darkness is, it's been happening, it's not new. The darkness that's running in the earth is not new. The things that's being revealed is not new. It's just coming to light. It's just being exposed. Are y'all listening? Amen. I'm going to say that again. The darkness that's being exposed is not new. It's been taking place. It's just now being revealed because the word of God is accurate. It's now being revealed because the word of God is accurate. And one of the things that we as people, people are going to need to see and want to see is people who truly believe God, love God, Know God. Trust God. Because what's taking place right now, people are being basically controlled by crisis and fear. Some people, not all people. Some people are being controlled by crisis and fear. And so, but God instructs us, his people, hey, not y'all. Y'all see that you be not what? He said, not you guys. He says, these things will be, but you see that you be not what? So part of our training to love God back is to obey his word. Be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. We need to train ourselves. We're going to love God, do what God says. God says, see that we be not what? So to walk around as if we have no hope, we're not operating the way God would, has instructed us to operate as those that have no hope. We who have hope should not operate as those who have no hope. He says it right here. See that you be not what? Trouble. He says in the midst of wars and rumors of them. He didn't say just rumors of them. He said there will be wars. He said, but in the midst of wars and the rumors of wars, you, 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 I'm writing to you believers, you see that you believers, those that say they love me, those that say they trust me, those that say they believe me, those that say I'm a protector, those that say I'm a way maker, those that say I am their Jehovah Jireh, their Jehovah Rapha, their Jehovah Shikanu, their Jehovah Makedis, their Jehovah Shalom, their Jehovah Shalai, their Jehovah Yahweh, you you, 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 you who say that I am your redeemer, you sing my, your redeemer lives, let the redeemed of the Lord say, you see that you be not. See, training to love God, but see, 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 it's one thing to say we love God. But people are going to need to see what it means to know God. I said people are going to need to see what it means to know him. I said people are going to need to see what it means to, I said people are going to need to see what it means. I said people are going to need to see what it means. I said people are going to need to see what it means to know him. People are going to need to see what it means to know him. Not know of him. They need to know what it means to know him. I believe it was Paul that said, I want to know him in the fellowship of his suffering and in the power of his resurrection. Mm. 
oh, Paul is talking something. If, if you carnal, if you, if you don't understand the depths of the, of the power of the intensity of what he was wanting and the desire as, as you see the life he lived. And he said, and then he's already gone through some things and he said, but I still, I want to know him. I want to know him. I don't want to know him on the shallow areas of life. I don't want to just know him from all the little things other people are seeking him for. I want to know him. And the power of his resurrection Amen. and the fellowship of his suffering. I want to go beyond the shallow waters with God. Amen. I want to know him. People need to see. I said people need to see what it means to know. <laughs> y'all see that? Do y'all get that? What I'm saying? People. They need to see. But we know they need to see what we know. They need to see what we know. Are y'all here? Not just going around parroting nothing, something without no authority, not really par just parroting something that you really don't believe, not just parroting something that you really don't embrace, not some really parroting something that you don't live. But I know him. I know him. I know him. I don't just know of him. He's not a mere acquaintance. I know him. And because I know him, I am not troubled. Are y'all hearing something? Amen. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. YouTube, hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. Because they do need to see what we know. We're not walking around preaching doom and despair. Right, right. We're not walking around preaching fear and worry. No, we're not walking around accepting sickness and disease as a prevailing authority. We call those things that be not as though they are. That's what people need to see. Whom and what we know. Are y'all listening? The power and the demonstration of God in the earth. And that's what we're, somebody said, that's what I'm training for. Somebody said, that's what I'm training for. Somebody said, that's what I'm training for. See, there's now no condemnation unto them that love God and are called according to his purpose. If we're not there at this point, say, I'm training for that. Come on, somebody. They need to see it in your home. You, 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 they, 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 I said they need to see whom and what you know in your home. When you go home, something is making differences when you get there. Frustration, people are all out of work, nervous and all work. But when you get there, your Redeemer lives and they recognize it on you. Amen. They know when you get there, yo, you and your God, something's going to change. When you show up, so I said, when you get there, I said, when you, they're not, they're going to understand. Why are you not fearful? God, I'm not troubled. My father said, be not troubled. I know him. When he tells me don't be troubled, I know him. I said, when God tells me don't be troubled, I know. I said, when God tells me don't be troubled, I know him. Yeah. Are y'all understanding? Amen. We're not playing. We're not going out for perform. We're not trying to be necessarily being seen in men, but yet we got to let our side light so I'm understand the context of what I mean. I'm not trying for us to be glorified. I'm just simply saying we need to demonstrate. I, 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 my, I, I write this down constantly. I, I, it's better to be than to try to be seen. 
be what you are. So that when they see you, they see you being, not acting. I said, when they see you, they see you being, not acting, not pretending, not faking. They see you being. That's why we're training. So you don't have to try to lie about what you are and where you are. You begin to call those things that be not. Amen. You speak by faith. I walk in victory. I walk in the authority of a believer. Are y'all understanding? Amen. People need to see the truth. Let me calm down. What do people need to see? I said, what do people need to see? What do you need to see? Don't you hate when people lie to you? Now, we hate when people verbalize a lie, but don't you, I, I disdain somebody to live a lie. God hates lying. Where are we at? We're still right here with be not trouble. I got to get beyond that today. For all these things must come to pass. But what did he say? So quit trying to act like you know when he's coming. You don't know. You don't know. He's saying these things are going to happen and the end is not yet. But he's saying in the midst of that, be not troubled. And quit preoccupying yourself with trying to figure out when he's coming back. We learn this, occupy till he come. We learn that on Tuesday night. We aren't to be trying to figure out the dates. Be who you're supposed to be till he come back. Walk in the authority. Quit wishing life was over. I said again, quit wishing life was over. The life we live is not our own. The life we live is not our own. You were bought with a price. We were bought with a price. Our life belongs to him. He wants to be glorified in our lives. Why are you trying to get rid of the precious gift God wants to give us to let them see him in us? Let him be glorified in our lives. See, we change, see how this changes the format because we're inundated with the world system that we're not, we're not, we got to hold true to our confession. We got to hold true to the course of life. We're not, we're not dismayed. I said, we're not dismayed. I said, we're not dismayed. The people of God are moving forward in this hour. Amen. They're productive in this hour. Are y'all hearing? I said the people of God are not dismayed in this hour. They're productive in this hour. The believers, the people that know him. I, 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 I thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear a word of the faith language. I, kingdom language. I hear it in my heart, my spirit. I hear kingdom language. What, 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 what are you talking? What are you speaking? Are you speaking kingdom of light or kingdom of darkness? Early on, I just said it early and I just heard it. What, what are you, what language are you? Are you talking like the children of the kingdom of God or the kingdom of darkness? God says, I give not a spirit of fear. But so fear talk is not of the kingdom of God. Right. I hear Holy Spirit. To speak fear is to speak as the kingdom of darkness. God said, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So to speak the kingdom of God, you must be speaking the spirit of power, of love, and of sound mind. Some of you need to put this down. I hear Holy Spirit telling me, let, remind me that you understand your kingdom language. 
And you need to know the difference when you're talking, which one you're talking of. If you're a believer, speak believing. Can anyone get this in their notes? Because I'm going to revisit this myself. Ensure, make sure, train, train. We're training. I said we're training. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Train your mouth. The tongue, the tongue is the pen of a ready writer. The tongue, the tongue, the tongue is a pen of a ready writer. The Bible says that a king will decree a thing and it shall be established unto him. God says life and death is in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Do you want to eat the fruit of fear, death, hell and destruction in your life? Then why would you speak that in your life? Do you want your kids to eat the fruit of death, hell and destruction? Then why would you speak that over their lives? Do you want the fruit of poverty, sickness and disease and COVID? in your life, then why are you walking around proclaiming COVID? Right. We, believers, they need to see what we know. We shall have what we say. Amen. What kingdom are you repping? I said, what kingdom? And any ex-gangsters watching this by YouTube and any gangsters in here, you understand how it means to rep your set. <laughs> any Serenios, Crips, Bloods, Nathaniels. You know X ones, I mean X ones, X ones, you know, long, the X, X, X ones. Let me make sure I remember some I mean, of you be like, yeah, yeah, no, no, you're delivered. No, you're, you're free, you're free, you're free. Amen. Amen. X, X ones, X ones. Y'all understand? You know how to rep your set? Well, what set you repping in the king? Which kingdom do you rep? Amen. Go out of here, recognize. I think we need to go on and sing our little anthem. You better recognize, recognize what rep you set. When people come up talking about what rep you set, I represent the kingdom of God. Where, 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 where'd that be? Well, let me tell you about Jesus. Amen. Are y'all hearing? Amen. I said, are y'all hearing? What rep you set? What, 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 what set you rep? What is it? Tell us thou me, what sayest thou? Train our mouth. What, what are we going to do to train? We train to love God back. One of the things we're going to have to do, I, I didn't even have that in my notes, but I hear the Holy Spirit saying, we're going to have to train our mouth. Right. Quit speaking death over your marriage. Mm -hmm. You don't want a divorce. Right. You don't want separation. Well, maybe we need some time apart. No, you don't. Right. You need to train your mouth to call those things that be not as though they are. Amen. Tell your husband and your wife you love them even when you're mad. Amen. Train, fix your mouth. Train your mouth. I love you. The enemy was talking. How you focusing on what they did? And you tell them I love you. I hate what you did, but I love you. <laughs> no, 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 no. So let me tell you. I hear a kingdom right here because the enemy will have you think you hate the person. I hear a kingdom. I hear Holy Spirit telling me the enemy will have you think you hate the person. You hate what they did. Right. And the reason why it hurts so much is because you love them, but they hurt you with what they did. You don't hate them. You hate what they did. The, it, see the kingdom. See how we're training to love God back? Because we got to separate ourselves from the kingdom of darkness and understand the kingdom of light and don't let the kingdom of darkness try to influence you in the kingdom of light. Train. Somebody say, I need to train. I need to train. I need to train. 
I need to train. And if you think you don't need to train, you need to train humbling yourself. You think you know it all, you got it all, you need some training in the area of humility. Somebody say, I need to train. I need to train. I need to get my mouth together. I need to, get my mouth together. I need to love my neighbor. I need to forgive my neighbor. I need to help my neighbor. Come on, somebody. We're we going to have some better marriages. We're going to have some better singles. We're going to have some better people. It's going to be some kingdom lives walking around here. I say, I say that, boy. It's going to be some kingdom lives walking around here. We're going to look like what we should look like. Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. I said we're going to look like what we should look like. Mm-hmm. We are not those without hope. We should be reflecting my Redeemer lives. It was so strong in, in Peter and not just upon Peter that God's love and power and authority was working in Peter so mightily because Peter knew him, but he didn't get there overnight. But when he got there, he was operating in the love of God, the power and authority of God so strong, the authority and anointing and the presence of God was operating that the very shadow of Peter, there were people that were sick, that his shadow would pass by and they would be healed. Amen. Oh, that's letting them see mm-hmm. what and whom we know. Peter wasn't trying to get glory for himself. He didn't even know it was happening. They was just testifying that you walked by and I was healed. You don't know what your shadow was doing. Amen. Y'all listening? Amen. Y'all picking it up? Y'all understand where we're headed? I said, do you have a glaring idea of where we're headed? Is it resounding in your heart? See, oh, I hear you, Holy Spirit. See, at this, when we get this in us, we're not going to have to wait on nobody else. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I hear you, Holy Spirit. He said, when we get this in our hearts so strong, you won't have to wait on nobody else. You won't be like, I can't do it alone. You will be like, I, nope, nobody go. I got this, Jesus. Me and you are a majority. Hallelujah, me and you are a majority. I said, hallelujah, me and you are a majority. I said, when we get this in us so strong, we won't be waiting on nobody else. You will be like, Jesus, I got this. As long as I got you, we've been, we, <laughs> that's that kingdom talk. So you know when you ain't, you're struggling with kingdom language, you got to wait on everybody else before you move. Oh, you, you know when you're struggling with your I hear Holy Spirit. He's, he's taking this message in a whole different level than I ever thought. I said, say, you, you know when you're struggling, when you got to wait on somebody else before you move. See, see, see when you get in the kingdom, I, I, I'm going to use a secular, when I move, you move. <laughs> it's just like I, you ain't gonna have to wait. They gonna move according to you. Yeah, you you you've been waiting on them, but uh, God said they've been waiting on you. Mm-hmm. Woo! When we get this, I'm talking about. Hey, y'all hear Holy God in this place? You hear Holy God in this message? Do you hear? When we get our language right, we won't wait on nobody else. If don't nobody feel the church, me and you, Jesus, we got this. <laughs> Amen. I said, if don't nobody want to go out there, God, me and you, we got this. Because they're going to see what and whom I know. Yes, Woo, my God, boy. I'm about to shout. I got to calm down. The, I, I hear this so powerful because you don't even see what I see. I'm talking about the power of God in you. Woo! I'm talking about the presence of God on you. Such that people are like, I don't know what it is, but it's something about you. I need just to hear you say something to me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> they just going to want to hear you talk. Thank you, Jesus. There's something about you I don't understand, and it's the presence of God in you. Ah, yeah, blah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why are you not troubled in this house? Why do I see joy on you? Calm down, Jack Byers. Amen. Are y'all hearing the Spirit of the Lord speak to us today? Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. We need to get out of this mundane, passive play and shout. Thank you, Jesus. 
with the voice of triumph. Somebody shout. Oh my God! The, 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 the power of God is so powerful. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Are y'all hearing? Yes. You won't even get to him. You're gonna lay hands, and the power gotta hit him before you get there. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Everything in your life should be transformed. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, "Be not conformed." To this world. But be ye transformed. Don't you understand that as a principle of authority? Everything around you. It should be transformed. Yes. <laughs> the blind eyes should see. The deaf ear should hear. The dumb should talk. The lame should walk. Yes. Hey, the dead should rise. You shouldn't even be able, they shouldn't even be able to allow you to go in the funeral. And they say, if you come in, they're going to get up. <laughs> right. No, y'all laughing. Uh -huh. That's the truth, though, ain't But this is kingdom. Mm -hmm. You walk by graves and they start shaking. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hey, <laughs> Woo! Do you understand kingdom? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you should lay hands on your bills. Amen. And tell them, be our pay. Yes, in Jesus' name. Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Talking about fret and debt. I'm too overwhelmed. Lay hands on them bills. Look at you. Look at you. And this shouldn't even be a surprise to us. Right. That's exactly right, Pastor. Amen. Nothing's broke. I, I told my wife this morning. I was reminiscing. My God. I, 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 so what, what happened? And I said I spoke to it. And it, it began to work. But then I said, talked about the old Mercedes. And it did the same thing. Oh, uh, The microwave was one. Yeah. But, uh, come on, somebody. I laid hands on something, was it yesterday or today? Computer. My computer, I'm going into a Zoom meeting yesterday uh, about my book I'm writing, and the devil tried to stop the meeting. My computer, computer ain't never done this. It wouldn't get off its homepage screen. Just wouldn't get it. I laid hands on it. I believe God. I said, computer, in the name of Jesus, you will function in the name of Jesus. You will do what you were created to do. You will operate in the perfection of what it's supposed to do. In the name of Jesus, I command you to work. Yes. Minutes later. Whoosh. <laughs> now, y'all laughing. That's kingdom. Amen. Amen. Some time ago, we had old Mercedes men that... Nah, I ain't gonna talk about Mercedes like that, but we had a Mercedes Benz one day. This is years and years ago. It's not the Mercedes we have today. Years and years ago, that Mercedes wouldn't crank. I laid hands on it. I said, Jesus, by your stripes, we were healed. And you can heal me, and I know you can because you have such what you said. I laid hands on this car, and I commanded the crank. Right. And I turned that key, and Rome is time to go. Hey, but in the end, you got to understand who you are and who you are. I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to get to this text. But we got to be reminded of what we're looking for. You got to know where you're headed. You got this train. You don't leave this place just saying it's a good message. Leave this place. Train your mouth. Jesus said, here's how you train. Put a watch over your mouth. Mm -hmm. Tell yourself, shut up. Right. You open your mouth when you speak kingdom. <laughs> you rebuke the devil. You're so used to you being loose with your mouth. You tell yourself, shut up. Shut up. You speak the word. Amen. Are you understanding? See, we got down telling everybody else to shut up. We need to tell, learn how to tell ourselves. Tell, shut up. Amen. 
We know how to tell everybody else to shut up in multiple languages. We know sign language when it comes to that. But we're going to train this year. I said we're going to train. I said we're going to what? We're going to do what? We well, ain't playing. Tap. We're going to do what? We gonna train. Tap. Tap. Train. We're not playing. We're not up the fold to play. This is not the play church. You got to go find somewhere else to play. Well, here we pray. We don't play. Yeah, yeah. How y'all doing? I'm so excited. My excited is excited. I'm eating while I'm teaching. Are, are y'all here? I'm, I said I'm eating. I'm, I'm, my spirit's being fed. God is encouraging me. Shut up! Are y'all hearing? Speak life. I I, I should have spoke life over my brother in that coffin. Get up out of that coffin. But no. I'm struggling in my words of faith. I'm struggling. And now now my brother is gone. But I should have been able to go to that coffin and say, get up. Your time has not yet come. Amen. Woo! Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get to, go. Hey, look, 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 look. This is my life. Don't get all this. Don't, this is my situation. This is my situation. But you got to learn. Don't, don't trip on the day. Get, start speaking life to your life, your bills, your marriage, your family, your job. Speak life. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And know in whom your salvation is. Know in whom the authority comes. It's through him. It ain't about us. It's him. Here. We're trying to love him back. This means we're going to be in some love and fellowship. We're engaged. We're not going to be distracted. We're not going to be allowing the enemy to trick us up. Trip us up. You're going to exit. I hear you, Holy Spirit. You're going to exercise your authority. You have it. You have to use it. I said you have it. What did I say? You have it. I said you have it. Somebody say I have it. Say I have the authority to call those things that be not as though they are. Let's do it again. I hear we're training. Since we're training, we might as well train. Somebody say, I have the authority, have the authority. to call those, call those things that be not, be not. as though they are. So, they are. so I'm going to speak those things. That's why it's important for you to be in the trainings that Pastor LaCritia is tre- teaching you all because you're training. Ah, I hear you. It's time to insert some discipline into the text. Get here and train. Amen. Get here and do what? Train. Woo! See, see, I say, I say, I say, God, hear Holy Spirit say, you'll know when it's the kingdom, when you're not late to church. But when you're running into the church, when they said, I was glad when they said unto me, (laughs) I said, they said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house. Oh, when you begin to understand this level of unloving relationship, you will be running to the house of God. You won't be late. You won't be tripping. It won't be a hardship. You will be glad to get to the house of the Lord. The scripture will come alive and say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I got to get to some scriptures. I'm quoting them, but I need to let y'all read some for yourself. Whoo, hallelujah. Somebody say, calm down, pastor. Or turn it up. Which one is it? Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Verse 7, 
We just, we ain't, we only got on one verse. Read. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be what? There's, to pause right there. How accurate is the word? He said there should be what? Nations rising against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. There was just a coup taking place in another country just days ago. And there should be famines, people hungry. You don't have to go far. Just walk down North Texas Street. Mm -hmm. The word is so accurate. And pestilences. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what a pestilence is? A pestilence is? It's a COVID. Pestilence. What some would call incurable diseases. Yeah, the Bible is accurate. To say you don't believe, what is wrong with you? Mm-hmm. Especially if you say you're a Christian. We need some training. If Christians are saying, well, I don't believe all of the Bible. I do believe in Jesus, but I don't believe about the fish that Jonah was in. I just think that's just a little far. Maybe it was an analogy. Maybe it was a, a, some kind of uh, persuasive discipline. and oh, yeah, All of these different things. No, no, no. If it say it was a fish, it was a fish. Didn't call it a whale. It didn't call the fruit in the garden an apple. And see, again, see, 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 see how the enemy walked? Is she trailing off, following something the Bible didn't say? It didn't say that the apple in the garden, the fruit in the garden was an apple. It didn't say that the fish that Jonah was in was a whale. But believers got to know that. Do y'all see what, are y'all hearing, not necessarily what I'm saying, but hear the spirit of the Lord in the text. The te- so that you don't get cut off so that they can start telling you, what, see, if they could tell you that the fruit in the garden was an apple, if they could tell you that the fish in the water was a whale, what else can they tell you when it comes to your God? Because it makes sense to the natural mind. Don't let nobody tell you. If it ain't in the Word, you let God reveal the hidden mysteries to you. You don't let no one set the terms of God in your life, especially when it's out of line with the scriptures. Because if you let them tell you what color Jesus was and where, all, and it don't really matter what color he was. The point is he lives. It doesn't matter what the fruit was. The point is there was a fruit. It doesn't matter what the fish was. The point there was a fish. You want me to get off track. It doesn't matter. The day he comes, the matter is he's coming back. And I need to be ready. I said, what matters is he's coming back and we need to be what? I said, what matters is he's coming back and we need to be what? Every one of us, if you wouldn't be, if you wouldn't mind, we should send this and encourage people to hear this on YouTube. Not because they need to hear me, but they need to hear what we need to be operating in in this hour. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get people to know me. What am I? But a man like you. But the word is what they need to hear. What we need to hear is what the word has to say. Are y'all listening? And there should be pestilences. And what else? Earthquakes. Mm-hmm. Now, we're, we're, see, and in, 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 in divers places, what, what that's telling us is in places that's not normal. So, you know what? Uh, there's been earthquakes in the East Coast. Things like hurricanes and tornadoes are familiar. It's unnatural to have earthquakes on the East Coast. But you want to know that I've had multiple calls from earthquakes being in North Carolina. 
I said, the word of God is accurate. But he said, the end is not yet. He's just get, revealing it to us so his children where we are. Are y'all hearing? Amen. But we're supposed to be able to tell people and not be troubled. They get to shake it. <laughs> what you shaking for? Verse 8. All these are the what? Beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. But it can't be the sorrows for us because he said, be not troubled. Mm -hmm. So who are the sorrows for? Ha. Huh. See, when people get to reading it, they don't read it in context. Read it in context. If he told you to be not troubled and these are the beginning of sorrows, who are the sorrows for? Those that do not know <laughs> Those that do not know him, those that refuse to be acquainted with him, those that refuse to, to, to love him, those that refuse to honor him. Oh, it's going to be some sorrowful times for you. Oh, it ain't going to be good for you, young, young player. But you can change. But I ain't going to hell for you. And neither am I going to step out of my kingdom authority because you don't believe. Are y'all listening? I'm going to just stop there. <laughs>